Overseas now, the British government also facing calls for a national inquiry following shocking revelations of a child sexual abuse scandal. Perhaps even more surprising, allegations authorities may have turned a blind eye. Jess Semple reports. This North England town is now at the center of a national scandal. Hundreds of Rotherham's youngest, most vulnerable residents subjected to unspeakable abuse. It is hard to describe the appalling nature of the abuse the child victims suffered. An independent inquiry has thrust Rotherham's dark past into the spotlight, revealing 1,400 children beaten, trafficked and gang raped between 1997 and 2013. They were threatened with guns, made to witness brutally violent rapes and threatened they would be the next if they told anyone. Despite those threats, many of the victims did tell, but no one listened. I was a child and they should have stepped in. This victim, whose identity we're protecting, says the abuse started when she was 14. Then, living in social care, she reported the abuse to the authorities. I think um, because the police were aware, social services were aware, and he knew that, and they still didn't stop him, I think it encouraged him, and it almost became like a game to him, you know? He was untouchable. These five men were the only ones ever convicted of the abuse a few years ago. The inquiry found most of the perpetrators were part of a gang of British Pakistanis. They mostly preyed on white girls from poorer backgrounds and troubled homes. Even officials who did believe their allegations chose not to respond, afraid of appearing racist. Will you resign? Today, from town officials and police, plenty of remorse, but no repercussions. Even the police commissioner, who used to be in charge of children's services, is standing firm. I don't think uh, any of this was my direct fault. Several other British towns have recently been rocked with similar allegations of widespread child abuse, though none on the scale of Rotherham, renewing calls for a wider public inquiry at the highest national level. Jeff Semple, CBC News, London.